Hi everyone, it's Ellie from the Fit Families Programme. Just wanted to welcome you back to week four of the programme, which is all about social and emotional wellbeing. Hope you enjoy it. So then, what actually is social wellbeing? What is your social wellbeing and what does it mean? So social wellbeing is all about your ability to make relationships with people, such as family, friends, and even co-workers, or even your next door neighbour. So how do we know to tell if our social wellbeing is healthy? So this is things like being able to trust people, being able to talk to people, being able to adapt in certain social situations, and also just basic things like treating people with respect. So unfortunately, we're not always going to have a positive social wellbeing. This is due to things like having arguments with friends and family, or even things like when you have a friend, you might have a friendship for 10 years, but then that can fizzle out as you both grow up and grow apart. And this can all sometimes be negative on people, as it might only be one sided, one person might decide they don't need that person in their life anymore and this can be quite stressful for the other person and because it's stressful for that person it's stressful for both of them which can then obviously have a negative impact on their social well-being another way is maybe having few bad influences around you they are going to obviously negatively impact you which is going to negatively negatively impact your social well-being Hi everyone and welcome to week number four on the first physical activity which is jogging, running and then sprinting. So we're going to start with 30 seconds of jogging, off we go. So knees up, moving our opposite arm, our opposite leg. I did 10 seconds left. Nice, gentle jog. Three, two, one. Right, now we're going to go in to running, so a bit faster this time, bigger strides of our arms. And then three, two, one, the opposite leg and opposite arm, so a bit faster this time. Halfway through. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now we're gonna have a ten second rest and we're gonna try sprint for thirty seconds. Don't worry if you can't manage all thirty. Aim for twenty. If you don't think you're gonna get the thirty, if you can get the thirty, that's absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go in five. Four, three, two, and one. So flat out sprinting for 30 seconds. Fast feet, fast arms. Ready, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done. That is the first activity done and dusted. Well-being is a bit negative. How could we boost this? There is a few ways in which we could boost it. So things like making sure you keep in contact with your friends and family and talking to them on a daily basis or to, just talking to them often. So obviously at the moment in that current situation we can't really see them. So things like FaceTiming them, ringing them on the phone, even writing them a letter, that is going to help boost your social well-being. Another way you could do this is obviously have having days out with your friends and family but also maybe making a challenge for you all to reach a goal that can also help boost your um social well-being and then finally if you maybe have fell out with people or you want some new friends in your life or you just want maybe a new start joining new clubs new teams this is also going to boost your social well-being Then moving on to emotional well-being there are three main parts to your emotional well-being 
this is how we think, how we think on a daily basis, how we're thinking about certain situations, how we feel, how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about life in general, and then also relate. That is how we relate to ourselves and also how we relate to others. So what are the signs of having a healthy emotional well-being? These can be things that are uh, being comfortable in who you are, you're happy within yourself, having positive relationships through your friends and families and co-workers and so on. And also taking care of your physical health. So this can be things like making sure you have time to get that exercise in if you know it makes you feel good. Or just going for that walk if it if you know something makes you feel good. Get getting that in is crucial. Being able to adapt and be resilient in situations. So being able to, if someone changes plans with you, you can adapt and that's absolutely fine. And not, not letting that negatively impact you. And also taking time to relax for yourself. This is crucial as if you're always on the go or you're busy at work, you need to take time to relax to help your emotional well-being. emotional well-being be maybe a bit negative this can be things like if you feel sad or down you're being withdrawn from friends or family that's going to make you also feel down and that's going to have a negative impact on your emotional well-being also things like having low energy levels so like i previously said making sure you can relax when you need to so if you're not relaxing when you need to you're then obviously going to be tired and not going to be able to get things done this is then going to negatively impact your emotional well-being now everyone for the second activity for week number four which is foot to hand so we're going to over to the floor we're going to put one foot and then one foot we're going to aim for 10 of those off we go so one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Now we're going to have a rest and we're going to go again, but seeing if we can get our foot even closer to our hand this time. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. So see if we've got even further, bigger step forward. There's two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to have a 20 second rest this time. For the last one, we're going to go as fast as we can. So get in it as close to our hand as quick as you can. So in and out, in and out. Ready, ten more seconds and off we go. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. As fast as we can. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, everyone. That was activity number two complete. Keep going. So, then our emotional well being, if it is a bit low or we're feeling a bit low in ourselves, how can we boost this? So, I've put three things here that I think can help boost it. So the first one is talking to friends and family about your feelings or even just talking to them on a daily basis about how your day was or how your week was. And even if it wasn't that great, talking about why it wasn't that great really can help you move forward. Secondly, getting the exercising. I know for me personally, getting the exercising is crucial for me to feel good. So going to the gym, going on a run or simply just going on a 10, 15 minute walk can make me feel so much better. And finally, doing some muscle relaxation exercises or stretches or even some yoga. These things really will help boost your emotional well-being. So then why is it important that we look after our social and emotional well-being? This is because if we feel alone, it's not going to do us any good at all. So if we can boost how we feel, it's going to affect us in a positive way. We're going to be happier. We're going to feel healthier. We're just going to feel better as a whole. So this is crucial that we look after our social and emotional well-being. 
by doing the things that I mentioned previously. By if you if exercising helps you to feel better, make sure you make time to get the exercise in. If it's talking to friends and family helps you get get through things, if you're struggling, making sure you speak to them. But also help making sure we speak to people in the right way so we don't bring them down. So it's about helping each other, especially at the moment with everything going on. People are feeling down, they're not at their happiest. So if we can help not only boost ourselves social and emotional well being, but other people around us, it's gonna benefit us as a whole. It's gonna benefit benefit your day to day life. So then if you are listening to me right now, you have made it to the end of week four. Well done to you. Social and emotional well being complete. I think it's a big one this week that we need to speak about, especially at the moment. It's tough out there at the minute, Lone people are lonely, people need that boost, people need that help. Even if you don't take something from this today, you might take it away and help somebody else, a friend or family that needs that bit of a boost in their social and emotion, or emotional well-being. So yeah, look after yourselves, please get involved in the quiz at the end and make sure you get in those exercises in that we're sending you. They're good ones to do, so stay safe everyone and see you all soon. We are now on to week number four and your physical challenge for this week, which is again going to be the same as the other week. So all the exercises you've done for this week, we're now going to combine them and put them all together. So we're going to start with the jog, running and sprinting. So we're going to jog for 30 seconds. Then we're going to rest for 10. Um, then we're going to run. So we're going to pick up the pace a bit more. For the number 30, then rest for 10, then try and sprint for 30. We're then going to rest for about 30 seconds. We're then going to go into the foot, uh, foot to hand and we're going to do that three times round with rest in between. And then we're going to move on to the high knees. So we're going to do the three variations of high knees with 10 seconds rest in between. So then... Let's start with the jogging. So we're going to jog for 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, one. So 30 seconds of jogging. Okay. The knees up, jog, 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 not too fast. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep going. That's it, just 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to take a 10 second breather, get your breath back. So now we're going to pick up the intensity into more of a run than a jog. So ready? Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. A bit faster this time. Sit. Keep going. Push through. Ready, right we've got 10 seconds left, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold it there. Now we're gonna rest for another 10. Let's get your breath back, and then we're gonna go into sprinting. So short amounts of rest here. So you gotta make sure we're breathing in front of us and out for our mouths to recover. Ready? Three. Two, one, all out. 30 seconds. Fast feet, fast arms. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Now we're going to have a bigger rest to get our breath back. And to recover and then we're going to go into the into the foot to hand so give yourself give yourself another 30 40 second rest get our breath back and then we're going foot to hand so we're going to do a similar way we did it in the previous video so three variations so you've got the first one which is getting your foot
Again, it's working, working that intensity up through each round. So last kind of 15 seconds, get our breast back and then straight in. We're going to do 10 reps on each. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. So, foot to hand. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. I'm going to rest for ten. And then we're going to do the exact same, but bigger strides. See how far you can get your foot. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Really big stride. So one. Try and get past your hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Keep going. Doing really well, everyone. If you got this far, you're doing very well. Keep going. If you're finding these a bit challenging, you can pause them, have a bit of a longer break if you need to, and come back to it. But make sure you're getting that rest in. Right, we're going to go in five seconds. So the same again, but all out as fast as we can now. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. So one, two, three. Still try and get that foot to your hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Well, we're going to rest for one minute now and we're going to move into the final exercise for the physical challenge, which is the high knees. So it's up to you. You can either I'm going to do three rounds of high knees running, which is the hardest option, which you, if you want to give it a go, give it a go. Uh, or you can do the others where you're just trying to get your knee up to your hand. Or it's, you can mix it up, you can do some running and some slow ones if you need to get your breath back. That's absolutely fine. We're going to do three rounds, 30 seconds each round. So the first round we're going to go in. 10 seconds so it's up to you i'll walk the first one with you we can do the walk one for the first one then the other two rounds i'm going to pick up the pace and go faster but it's completely up to you right three two one so 30 seconds of just getting your knee to your hand really push up That's it, 15 seconds to go. There we go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well, we're going to rest now for about 20, 30 seconds to get our breath back. So it's getting harder as it's going on. So remember, you can either do that again, or if you want to progress it a bit, you can put it into more of a run this time. So ready? In 10 seconds, we're going to go again. So I'm going to go into a run. But it's completely up to you. You can keep it at a lower tempo if you need to. It's absolutely fine. Ready? Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Knees up. Ten seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. One last rest, and then one more time round, and you're finished. Then you will have finished the physical challenge for this week. So a little fifteen more seconds. We're gonna go straight back into it. Like I said, if you need a longer rest. Please feel free to pause it and come back to it. Make sure you get that resting that you need. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Right, last 30 seconds, all out. Keep 
Keep going, work through it. Knees up, knees up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, everyone. That is your physical challenge for week number four. Come That's the end of this week's daily challenge. Really good going. It's hard work, but make sure you get it done every day. If not, try and get it about five times a week if you can. It's only going to take up to about 10 minutes. So try and get those done for me. I hope you're enjoying them. Well done.